hello everybody welcome to this uh, next video on vector spaces and uh, here we will talk about something which is called fusion of vector subspaces and span of a set s these two concepts we have learned about so suppose uh, we have v this is your vector space and s is a subset of v so you have this situation that you have a vector space and you have s is a subset and i told you that you can have span of s right span of s means uh, initially when we talked about span of s we said you have u1 u2 um in s then you say span of s is alpha 1 u1 plus alpha 2 u2 plus alpha m um where alpha is are your scalars and u i are in the set s this is called span of s and we denote it this, like this now this is when s is finite but when s is infinite generally we define span of s as alpha 1 u1 plus alpha 2 u2 plus so on alpha m u m where alpha is are from f u i is from s and m is any natural number right so it means that you can take one element only then you take two elements and so on right so it will uh, you know take the case when s is infinite also so this is how we define the span and now uh, if we, if we have this is your set s and then you just find out the span span means more than s right so span means all these elements right so what you are doing you take s and then you take all the linear combinations of the vectors in s so you'll get a bigger set right so this yellow is your span of s now here i am uh, talking about uh, something uh, is this uh, span of s is a vector subspace right so we are going to prove that there is a theorem result which will be helpful that if v is a sub v is a vector space and s is a subset of v then span of s is a vector subspace of v you see here s was only a subset a normal subset without any you know peculiarity here if you make span of s then it will become vector subspace so you see here s s need not to be a subset a subspace it is only a normal subset but if you take the span of s then it is going to be a subspace but subspace means it itself is a vector space so let us prove it proof, proof is quite simple so you just know uh, you should take the definition so span of s i have just written is alpha 1 u1 plus alpha 2 u2 plus so on alpha n u n or u m uh, where alpha is are from the field u i is from the s and m is a natural number now i in the last video or uh, second last video we have proved that if you want to prove that something is a subspace you take two elements from that set let us take u and v two elements from the span of s so u will look like alpha 1 u1 plus alpha 2 u2 plus so on alpha m u m and v will also look like beta 1 u1 plus beta 2 u2 these may not be the same elements so let us call these elements something else so it will look like beta 1 v1 plus beta 2 v2 plus so on beta n v n where alpha is are in field u is are in your set s and m is a natural number here also beta is are in the field v is are in the set and n is a natural number right now you take alpha and beta are two elements in your field f then alpha u plus beta v will look like alpha into u which is alpha 1 u1 plus alpha 2 u2 plus so on alpha m u m plus it will look like beta beta 1 b1 plus beta 2 v2 and so on beta n v n so this will look like alpha alpha 1 u1 plus alpha alpha 2 u2 and so on alpha alpha m u m plus beta beta 1 u v1 plus beta beta 2 v2 and so on 
beta, beta n, v n. Now you see all these are scalars. This is a scalar, this is a scalar, this is a scalar, this is a scalar. All these are scalars. So these are m plus n scalars and u1, u2, um, v m, v1, v2, v n. These are m plus n vectors from S. So this is a linear combination of m plus n vectors from S. So it definitely belongs to span of s by definition of span of s so it means that we have proved that whenever you take u and v from span of s and alpha and beta from field then alpha u plus beta v is also in span of s so it implies that span of s is a vector subspace right so so this this will actually help you in many cases for example in the last video we have proved that this particular space subset of r2 if you remember we proved that this is a subset of r2 and it is a vector space it is a vector space or vector subspace you see you don't have to prove anything you, you can just say that this is a span of a set this is what is this this is a span of 1 comma 1 because everything here is a span of 1 comma 1 so straight away you can say that this is going to be a subspace because span of a set is also is always a subspace so this result is useful in proving many results and many questions also we'll see this in future thank you